Um, so we need um, our practices to represent the game to some degree. So we kind of need to move past this kind of drill versus game and actually look at whether the practices replicate what a player's feeling, seeing, hearing in a game situation. So we need to move coaches past um, just playing 4v4, 5v5 and, and adding more purpose to their practices. So targeted development. What is it do you want the players to get out of this practice? What development do you need? What do they need, more importantly probably? And therefore, how do I manipulate the practice to facilitate that development? So, so there's, there's a few factors we can look at to in, uh, enhance the chances of our practice becoming representative. Um, direction's always good, so we can provide a direction to their, to their practice, so a goal to shoot at or an area to attack and somewhere to defend. The players can start to orientate their actions and decisions based on attacking and defending, which is replicate of the game. Now, defenders are also really useful, or attackers to defend against, so having an opposition is definitely a way uh, coaches can increase the likelihood of that practice being representative. Um, the next way we can kind of add more, I guess, representativeness to our practice, more competition, more consequence to actions, is ensuring that uh, at the right times we we're, we keep score, uh, the players are aware of the score, we keep uh, time so that they're aware of the game time and they can kind of manage their decisions on the pitch in relation to the score of the game and how long's left. So we can start to develop uh, consequence and meaning to their actions, which is more game-like, which is something that... I think we can really do start doing at a younger age um, rather than waiting till they get to a performance end and then adding those types of consequences. The next thing that is really important is once the practice is set up, the coach's job's not done. So um, understanding when to intervene, how often um, and what interventions we need to put in place, whether that's stop it and paint a picture, whether it's um, stop it and allow the players time to reflect and problem solve, whether it's asking the right question to the right individual in the right way to change how they then might engage with the environment next time they're in the practice. But that for me is kind of the art and the skill if you like of coaching.